I will never, ever forget how I got here today. I'm proud to say it was puppetry. And now I've been called the grandfather of puppetry. So my guest today, they also need to take a big bow in puppetry. I love, love their characters. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan and Mark. Sid Croft, <laughs> it's me, it's Frank a Horse. It's my grandfather, Sid. No, no, the grandfather of puppetry. Yeah, you're half I listening am. again, Karen. You know what I want to know from you two guys? What's what that, made, Sid? What made you want to be a puppeteer? I've always been Frank, good at the it. Horse. Just check this out. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this is my friend, uh, Hoofy, right here. <laughs> Now talk to Hoofy, Sid. It's high art. It's high art. Oh my God. What is, I, I went to the uh, farmer's market and I think I got a little sunstroked. It's, I don't mean to yeah. rush you, but it's kind of hard to hold this hoof up this long. I, I know it is. Does he talk? He does. Don't listen closely, Sid. Oh, my God. That's what you really call brilliant puppetry. Did you hear that, Karen? Karen, okay. I love how, how you uh, combed your hair for this. Oh, thanks. Do you know what? Actually, I got dressed this morning, Sid, and I thought of you. I thought I looked like Jimmy from HR Puff and stuff, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. Oh. The kids were so upset. Yeah. They wanted to know. When is he going to get home? But why would you want to go home to some boring, dull, ticky-tacky house when you could live on Living Island with, like, talking clocks and lollipops? It was pretty scary because he had Witchy Poo, you know, was sort of the villain, and she tried to swipe the gold flu. I can't believe I'm here to tell you this. H.R. Puffin Stuff was one of the greatest shows of all time. It changed my life. It did? Yeah. Wow. Yes. I liked it, Land of the Lost. Remember that one? I remember that one too, yeah. I got a question for you about Land of the Lost. Okay. Way back when you were shooting it, you wouldn't have known this, but I went out uh, to LA for pilot season, see if I could get some work. I went out on two dates with Slee Stack number four. Now, I don't know if you're in touch with the Slee Stacks anymore, but I never got a return call. And I'm just wondering if I came on too strong. Did he say anything to you? No, because there were only three. Yeah. This is breaking to, news here, uh, folks. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, that's all we could afford. No, we there was four. The same thing happened when she went on that date with number four. That's for sure. Oh, well, Kelly, first you're, I heard of it. You're making me think, Kelly, because I'm wondering. He wasn't green. I just God, can't believe uh, <laughs> this kind of breaking news just happens like this. I really uh, apologize. I don't know what thank happened. Thank you. My Karen, gosh. it's because maybe the slee stack thought you were just a little bit too old. You have gray oh, hair. How many years oh. ago was that? Oh, my oh God. I better, I better lay down. Frank, get ready. Get that hoofy out. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Take, I'm gonna take what you you just said. Mm -hmm. See your rod. Oh my God! Don't show mm -hmm. your rods. That burst the bubble. Uh, the <laughs> bubble's been burst for 50 years. Look, do you understand how hard it is to put in your own arm rods on your own? You really need a, a second friend for that. And it was just me today. It took me about 45 minutes to get these suckers in. What you don't want to hear about your personal <laughs> life. When we're done. I want you to go up and click on the Dylan Gale page right next to Sid's adorable face. And you click on it and you follow us. And we will give each new follower today and only today $500. And that's thanks to the donation of Sid Croft. And we want to thank, thank him for that today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thank you, Sid. Oh, thank you, no, Sid. No, no. I, wow. I, I had no if idea. If I had five, if I had 500 bucks just i get the hell out of town. And I am going out of town this week. The fans are unbelievable, you know. Oh, they're great. Hey, word of advice, Sid. I've done a couple yes. of these cons. Bring an extra stick of deodorant because there's some p folks who just forget. I might want to keep your that. distance. I never had that Sit experience. Back. Just you wait. It's coming. The word puppetry. I was on this talk show. Uh, Peter Fonda and Jane Fonda, they were on before me. And then when I was introduced, there was something about 
of being a puppeteer, Peter Fonda was bleeped because he said, what the F is a puppeteer? Now, what did you say in response? Did you show him your hoofy? <laughs> no, I gave him the finger. Oh, nicely done, no, Sid. No, um, I knew I was on you camera. I couldn't do that. I'm going to plug ourselves. Okay, you ready? Good. You can find us on Dylan Gale Official on Instagram. That's D-I-L-L-O-N-G-A-L-E. What? Dylan Gale Official. You can find oh. it right up there. And again, whoever follows us today and only today will receive, thanks to the benefits of Sid Croft, $5,000 apiece. Thank you, Land of the Law. Land of the Law, <laughs> HR Puff and stuff. I can't, I can't afford that. I mean, why are you putting so much pressure on me? Kelly told us, you Kelly told us it would be no problem. Yeah. Do you know what I learned? <laughs> I'm going to go here. Talk to Huffy. You learn more about rejection than you do success. That's for sure. Did you know that I was in a circus and I in vaudeville and a knife show and God. Wait I a used minute. To... You just said a knife, a, a knife show? Ice show. <laughs> oh. He throws knives. You should see him on a Sunday. Sid Croft and his flying knives. Go. <laughs> Kelly, the, the music. Oh. You know, <laughs> when Puffin Stuff came out, we were nominated for the sets. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Remember that? Kukla, no. Fran. You never heard of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie? Bert Tilstrom was the puppeteer. Fran was a live woman in front of the stage. She was live? She was pre-taped, Karen. Oh, she yeah. Was huge, huge hit that show and wow. all they had was a red velvet curtain and they were dominated for best scenery and they won well, they won for the red velvet curtain Karen. curtain mm -hmm. and so bert tilstrom called me and said i really apologize because you definitely deserve that award <laughs> easy enough to say once you've won the emmy yeah <laughs> right he said i'm going to send you the emmy he never did yeah, see? <laughs> thanks, bro. That's what you get uh, for being nice and picking up the phone that day. You have other characters, right? We do. We could. I could. I could casually walk away, and another one could casually walk in. I love your old man. Oh, oh my god! It's Frank's dad. Should I go get him? He's sleeping. It's only it's really weird. Out. Where are you? Me? I'm in Brooklyn, baby. Oh my god. Yeah. God, I love Brooklyn. Yeah. And I, I, I'm in I'm in Denton, Texas. How do you feel about Denton, wow. Texas? Well, we were pretty famous in Dallas. You talk you talk to Frank about Dallas. I'm gonna go wake up your favorite one, Bill, okay? Tell me about tell me about Dallas. I'm gonna go I'm away. Gonna, I'm gonna lean on this couch here because gosh it feels like i've been standing up for quite some time <laughs> uh, tell me about dallas you know to be a puppeteer yeah. and do puppets like this you know yeah. you've got your arm up for right thirty long time can you long imagine oh. just put your oh, arm this. up for okay. 30. oh my god dad come I back into the that. picture okay mm. dad it's it's in here Come back. Now stop. Stop. No, you went too okay. far. Okay. Dad. All right. Now come to mm -hmm. the middle. Come to the middle of the picture. Get back up. All right. Now now rotate. Please, Scott. Rotate. Can't he see? Has he got uh, that? Not, not very well. Well, mm -hmm. he's got he's got bad everything said. Uh Dad. Dad. Oh, God, it's one of the crops. Yeah. Hello. Uh, it's the living one. The, the, yeah. The alive Croft. Oh, good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Kelly. Who's Kelly? Oh, I'm a hand. hand. Now that's just a hand. Have you been speaking to my son about he's got puppets, which yeah. is a great use of his time. Did that's you cute. show them Hoofy? Yeah, I saw Hello, Mr. Cheryl. Yeah. Don't you feel this is a waste of everyone's time? Okay, let me ask. <laughs> No, actually, yeah. um, Puffy, you've yeah. got two hands, <laughs> so each hand can talk to each other. I just thought of a routine that Puffy could do 
with Bo. Oh, you did? Who are you? Who are you? Who, who I'm are the you? devil. I'm the devil. Oh, I'm the my. Devil. That's yes. the turn. And you're going to have to rehearse and give it a special voice. So, who are you? I'm the devil. And then you say, go to hell. Now, just a second. You have to rehearse. You can't just do it. He never rehearses, uh, Sid. He's very undisciplined. What do you mean? I'm rehearsing right now. <laughs> hey, Sid Croft. I'm the devil. Okay, ready? Here's the big finale. Wasteful. Go to hell. <laughs> now, Sid, how does this transfer to a financial benefit for my son? I mean, you can well, see clearly he's still doing hoofy. Well, yeah. when I had a puppet show in my backyard, yeah. I wrote I wrote a letter to Walt Disney because I had some mm -hmm. little puppets of all the... Well, he's dead. No, he is dead. <laughs> and so... Oh, oh yeah, God. but this is an experience. And, and Walt yeah. Disney wrote me back and said, you cannot charge and I'll be watching you. So I charged a button. So you just start with yeah. a button. I'm not sure the buttons will work when the recession comes, Mr. Croft. I think oh, he's going to need well, a couple of shekels. No, well, I love I, your I think glasses. I'm going to have to collapse. Wait, he <laughs> likes my glasses. Thank you. I can't see a damn thing, Sid. I can see the inside of my glasses, and that's about it. Have you seen a doctor about that? I went to the doctor in the Bush administration at some point. I was A-OK -okay then. Which Bush? Couldn't tell you. I think it was Jenna Bush. Jennifer <laughs> Bush. My very first puppet made me cry. I saw it in Vaudeville. My son makes me cry with Hoofy every day because I just think of all the opportunities lost. Look at that. He doesn't even have a puppet on his hand. It's just his hoof. <laughs> Unbelievable. If, if he's your son, how did that happen? Yeah. I'm a turtle and my son's a horse. <laughs> you should see my mom. This is so well, Mr. Bizarre. Croft, I think I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of tired of, of standing up. So puppetry is really, really intense. It's for the most intense people in the world. Do you have biceps of steel? No. Oh, check it out. Look, look at that. My arms are like fettuccine. God, they look <laughs> like my arms. I want to see your bicep. Mr. Croft. Can no, you, you can't see my bicep. <laughs> I thought you were going to go to sleep. What the hell is well, going I on? I woke up. Yeah. I'm back. And well, I enjoyed your work, Sid. I used to look at when Frank was a little horse. <coughs> yeah. We used to sit. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Hey, get, me too. We, yeah. Get it together, Dad. We used to sit by the TV and look at your program, Lidsville. Oh, the cuckoo cookie is. That's Lidsville, right. Yeah. Lidsville is the cuckoo cookiest. Lidsville is the kicky kickiest. Lidsville is the. <laughs> I wrote that song. You did? Yeah. Take that, Jim Hansen. The puppeteer, oh, the, the compliment that he gave me, I respected puppetry so much. It's Man. Tony Urbano. Tony Urbano. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I have yeah. a question for you that doesn't make sense in character, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Did Tony Urbano what? make H.R. Puff and stuff? Yes, he like, did. He designed it. I've wanted to ask for about, well, 87 years. <laughs> it's ask. actually been on, that was 54 years ago. Well, yeah, I'm rounding up. Mr. Croft, can I ask a question? Call me Sid. Sid, who was working uh, Grumpy the Dinosaur? on Land of the Lost. Was that you? Yeah, it could have been because I, you know, I did Freddy the Flute and Puff and stuff, and whatever yeah. puppetry had to be done, I was on the stage all the time. It might have been me or give you I'm that. I'm just going to take that as a yes. It was Take the you. credit. I well, take the no, credit. I don't want to take the credit you. because another puppeteer, we had so many puppeteers working for us. Who was your favorite? Me. <laughs> well, good answer. I wasn't a great puppeteer, but I'm a hell of a showman. That's and I for always sure. have been. Well, I can help you with your puppetry. Now, Sid, when you're counting, you want to open up your hoof 
uh, only one time until you get to, to, to number seven. Now, if you see, Hoofy will say okay. seven. 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 Two syllables. Seven. Can you do that, Sam? Seven. seven. No, with your hand. We yeah. had a puppet school that was free because we were looking for as many puppeteers. It was like we yeah. needed so many for all this six flag puppet shows. Sid, they're falling out of the sky now. You can you can go outside and the puppeteer will fall right on your head. You, there's <laughs> four of them right outside right now. And they can all go seven. I Don't be love you guys. Thank we love you, you so, I love so you much too. to you. be continued. Yeah. Goodbye. Dylan Dale.